Madung Barangay, maayong pag-abot. Dali, dali, ug hay man kamo sa kalibutan. Buckle up and buckle aboard to lift this journey to the best of the world where we learn significant concepts and minutes. We are your lift girls. I am Jill and I am Cherry. Bajan, situated in the southwestern part of Cebu, is not only known for its pictures nature, but also for its fascinating stories and folklore. Oh, really? Would you mind sharing a story with us? Sure. Did you know that the magical Kabukalan Spring in the Kawasan Falls is said to be the home of the spirits or encantos, and the presence of tourists in establishments disturb them? Really? That's an interesting story Kabukalan Spring. There's more. Every two years, a person dies at the falls as an exchange of the disturbance the tourists and establishments have caused them. That's a story worth sharing, Dia. It is also timely that you speak of a local story as we are going to be learning a lesson leading towards folklore. I am excited! Me too! Are you all excited? Before we start our lesson, let us first define these essential terms. Let us start with the elements of fiction. Do you know what are they, Miss Cherry? Yes, the elements of fiction are plot, characters, setting, point of view, language and style, and theme. When we say plot, this is the pattern of events starting from the beginning to the denoma. The characters, on the other hand, are the beings involved in the story. They can be humans or animals. The setting refers to where the story transpires. The point of view answers the question, who is narrating? The language or style refers to the diction, sentence patterns, and details that are used in the story. And lastly, the theme refers to the basic text message and philosophical concept of the story and these are the elements of fiction we can find these elements in every story that we read or make it's great that we have still remembered the elements of fiction as we are still going to use them in our lesson today which deals with another type of fiction let us unfold it through a flash fiction entitled the huntress by the american writer sophia samatar We'll already ask permission of the writer, Miss Sophia Samatar, to use her flash fiction in our presentation. Let us read and analyze its features. The Huntress by Sophia Samatar For fear of the Huntress, the city closed like an eye. Only my window stayed open because, as a foreigner, I didn't know better. In the morning, poor children would scrub the stains from the roots. Now, the rain-dark head came down and rested in the dome of the embassy. The moon shed feathers of light as if molting. In the morning, the eaves would drip with pinkish foam. A stench of fur came in at the window. I went to slam it shut, but instead, I stood there fingers gripping the edge of the frame. I closed my eyes in the searching heat. All over the city, people were taking shelter in their cellars and under their beds. Once, there were two children and they were the only ones on their block who kept the passion for monsters after they grew up. The only ones. What should that be? Our dad used to tell us stories of camel herding. He would scare us by mimicking the sound of a lion. This lion didn't sound like any lion from movies or games or anything. It had whining hunger. It was a tenor lion. The prowler's voice, surprisingly high and small, like a question. All over the city were covering their heads. The leaves outside my window shrank and smoked. Exiles and insomniacs share this feeling that each is the one, only one. 
I feel like I'm turning into this fierce person. A taskmaster to myself? Like a ballet dancer? Or a monk? Are monks happy? No, they are not interested in that category of feeling. But I'm supposed to be. I'm an American. The huntress left dark patches wherever she passed. She left us straight. In the morning, the hotel staff would find men conscious, come to the floor. The proprietor weeping, for nothing like this had ever happened in his establishment. Nothing. Had I not read the instructions on the desk? The fierceness can be seen around the mouth. I compress my lips when I'm thinking. Our dad was the same way. In the morning, the staff would run me a bath. Now, the huntress bent to my window, but she was not there to feed. She was there as a witness. To guide us in our learning journey, here are the objectives of the lesson. During the teaching learning process, you are expected to Identify the different elements in text and writing flash fiction. Analyze samples of flash fiction. Construct your own flash fiction. Show appreciation of folklore through your flash fiction. Thank you, Cherry. Now going back to flash fiction, according to Neil Gaiman, flash fiction is a general fiction that is very short in length. It is also named as short short story, sudden fiction, microfiction, and our micro stories. Yes, generally, Flash fiction consists of 250 to 1,000 words with only a few characters involved. However, there are cases when the story is composed of 100 words only. These stories may be short, but their plot is complete. Speaking of plot, the elements of fiction such as plot, characters, setting, point of view, style, and theme are still present in flash fiction. Indeed! They are all present in flash fiction, but we must need the three characteristics in flash fiction to be guided. These are brevity, complete plot, and surprise. Here is a sample illustration of a plot where the three mentioned characteristics, namely brevity, complete plot, and surprise should be present. To learn further how flash fiction is crafted, let's learn the tips on how to develop a good plot in flash fiction. Flash fiction narrates a complete story in 1,000 words or even less. Imagine a story with only 250 words or 100 words. How does a writer make a story as short as that? Well, the writer must take brevity. Write long, and go short. In the flash fiction of Samatra, she used the first person point of view to narrate the entire story in 374 words only. Samatra thought of brevity and started the story with an action. It is important in flash fiction that in its shortness, we take the opportunity to put the characters in action to develop the story. Moreover, we make the story more interesting there is a twist of events we call as the hook. It is through the hook that makes the short, short story more exciting and engaging because there are unexpected turn of events in just a very short story. As we near the end of the story, we must make the last line ring like a bell or simply put a clincher where the reader gets to realize something important or heartfelt. Finally, we may also make sure that our ending is not at the end. This only means that in flash fiction, we can always make surprises through our book, but leave questions that may ring even after the story. Let us go back to the Huntress and determine the elements of flash fiction and the tips being used in the story. The Huntress by Sophia Samatar 
describes the American visitor in a city where the people hide and are frightened by the huntress. The city closes like an eye as the people are afraid of the huntress. They consider their cellars as their refuge and hide because of the fear that the huntress may harm them. However, the American visitor does the complete opposite which leads the visitor to fall as a victim of the huntress. The story portrays a complete plot where it starts with a description of the action done by the people and ends with the visitor being the victim. The American visitor serves as the narrator of the story and the visitor are the people and the huntress being the characters in the story. The story is narrated in the first-person point of view, which is why it uses the word I. Furthermore, the setting is in city and named by the writer. Lastly, the major themes of the story revolve around fear and control due to the presence of the huntress. The plot is written with brevity. This story is not only short, but also engaging. It picks our interest in reading the story because we are hooked when the narrator says that he is a visitor, therefore he is new to the setting. This signals curiosity and excites us, the readers, on what will happen to the visitor in the later part of the story. Were you hooked, students? My interest was picked. Lastly, the huntress ends the story with an excitement to continue the story. Now the huntress bent to my window, but she was not there to feed. She was there as a witness. The huntress does not end with a simple goodbye. Modern Giant by Jeremy Salanoba Malazarte When I was a kid, my Lola used to tell me to stay inside the house whenever I play outside at noon. I used to be forced to sleep in the afternoon. 
I remembered her bringing a hanger or sometimes a guava branch to scare me whenever she sees me with eyes wide open. She tells me that sleeping in the afternoon can make me grow taller, although both my parents are naturally short. My Lola was the one who took care of me when I was growing up since my parents are both working abroad. She is very traditional and a believer of unseen creatures. She told me that noontime is a time for encantos. Playing outside during siesta time might disturb them. One hot day, my childhood friend visited me at home while my grandma was busy making biko. Her old mango tree outside is very strange, says my friend. Why? I replied. It smells like lemon even if it is a mango tree. It should smell like mango, right? Of course, I said. Maybe you should have your nose cleaned. It must have a really thick booger. <laughs> we both laughed. Then we played Dampa. I oftentimes win this Filipino game because I quite have big hands like my father. When my friend went home, my Lola already finished making Biko. Help me sell this after eating breakfast, Lito, ha? Huh? You have a louder voice than me so many can hear us while walking around our neighborhood. She said in calm voice. After eating breakfast, we immediately headed outside. My Lola Martins Biko is the best Biko in our barrio. It is her specialty and many people love eating her Biko. We sold everything at noon. While walking home under the scorching heat of the sun, I tried to peep by the old mango tree few steps away from our house. I was about to unzip my shorts, but my Lola stopped me from doing it. Stop that! You should not be disrespecting whoever lives in this old mango tree, she said. But you see, nobody lives here. It's just an old mango tree. It doesn't have any mangoes anyway. I replied in high-pitched tone. I just followed what she said because she looked at me angrily. It was past noon. My grandma was happily watching Eat Bulaga. It's actually her favorite noontime show. She almost forgot to put me to sleep not until she saw me outside nearby the old mango tree. No other trees or plants were nearby the old mango tree. It's the only old tree standing for five decades based from my Lola story. Berto! Go home or else you will know what happened! Lola Martin screamed. I rushed home when I heard her voice. When it was six in the evening, I smelt a very fresh scent. It captivated me a lot when I remembered what my friend told me. Finally, the lemon scent! I went to the kitchen to see if Lola was just making some lemon juice or a hot lemon drink. But she wasn't. The next evening, I smelt another familiar scent at six. The same scent I smelt yesterday. When my Lola was busy preparing dinner, I slowly escaped from the house to follow the scent this time. Surprisingly, it brought me to the old mango tree. The lemon scent was getting stronger and stronger as I draw closer to the old tree. I looked up and saw a very tall, dark colored, hairy, red eyed and ugly creature. It was a capre holding a lemon flavored vape. Let us apply your learnings of flash fiction. Ask your parents or neighbors about any folklore in your barangay. After that, create your own flash fiction based on your chosen folklore. To make the experience more meaningful, please upload your flash fiction to the Google Drive folder found in the caption. Click the link below. Enjoy learning, mga doong mga inday! I am Sherry. And I am Deal. And, and this, this is, is Lit Bits. Bits.
Journey to the bits of the world. <laughs>